Hello, and welcome to our third live by Soft Spoken ASMR Vlog. Today we are just going to go straight into it. I've been trying to do this voiceover for some time now, but unfortunately right now my neighborhood is not very quiet. My children are asleep. Outside there is noise, whether it's because we are renovating apartments or life is happening outside my window. So finally today it's a bit quieter than usual, so I decided to go ahead and do this voiceover for everyone and for myself too because again I do enjoy making these videos for YouTube and for you. Um, today again we started in the 50% now discount section. This is kind of like the last remaining things that my staple has in the discount section. They are going through a huge renovation. If you haven't seen the other two self-spoken, um, I will leave the link down below to those as well as the no talking version. But if you have uh, listened to those, you'll know that my Safeway is going through a renovation process. They're actually renovated everything and they are trying to get rid of some of the last items themselves. And they're having new products coming in and everything is on the table as you can see. They have children's products, they have men's hair products, they have so many different items. There's some pantyhose. I actually got these band-aids for my son and my daughter. They love Paw Patrol. It's one of those kid shows right now that is very, very, very annoying, but our children love it. And every once in a while, I give in and let them watch it. They're obsessed. Oh, there's a lot of lip balms, I've noticed. Maybe because it's winter, there's a lot of little miscellaneous things that are still part of the winter time, I guess you can say. A lot of vitamins too, I've noticed. I always see vitamins here or supplements. You definitely can see there is a lot of miscellaneous things. Oh, there's a the pregnancy test, there's some hair products, there's some little travel size shampoos and conditioners, and just a lot of different items you can see here. Some of these items I've never bought myself. Oh, yep. I found myself some of this awesome Pantene volume conditioner. Um, everybody in my household has curly hair or very thick hair, so I always try to snatch those up when I see them in the discount section. I actually have about two or three months worth of products at my house. There's a lot of this heavy duty aluminum foil. Let me know how you say aluminum. Aluminum? I'm not sure how. How do you really pronounce it? English is my second language. I should have gotten these. I didn't get these just because it wasn't really a necessity, but my son just started getting into putting little toothpicks and cheese and um, grabbing some ham and rolling it up and putting a little toothpick in there for him. I'm not sure where he got that from, but these would have been really cute for him for like a snack or something. I got these pads from my face. I actually just cleaned my face this morning because I fell asleep and didn't take off my makeup. And they work really well. My face is smooth and it feels super fresh and wonderful. There was a lot of water too. And I there are a lot of the products that are just, they only have a couple of items and they have a new product for me, so they have to get rid of a few. And yay for 50% off on diapers. I would like to a couple on another trip donate those. Not the swing trunks, but they do have, like you see, the loves box right there. They also have a lot of wipes. There really is such an overwhelming amount of things in the discount section. And this is only one out of like three other dry goods discount section. They just didn't want to put everything in one spot. That way they had people not all crowding in one area. But this is just one area. I'll show you in the other. Later in this video, I will show you. Right now we are in the chip aisle. I wanted to get what we want. I ended up getting really lazy.
his first name, but the SARS, but I saw someone online actually grabbing these potato chips, and instead of frying them and using the oil and then the sauce, you just buy a sauce and fry them. Potato chips, and then you just add the sauce and the sauce, and you can have a sauce and the potato chip, and it gives you the same kind of style that you can use, but this one, that thick, real Korean barbecue that tastes hundred percent much more amazing than those chips probably most likely definitely have you had Korean barbecue? It's one of the things that I really enjoyed once I moved to San Francisco. Obviously I know Korean barbecue is not from California, but San Francisco does have such a large Asian community that we are lucky enough to have some types of Korean barbecue here in San Francisco. And again, it's one of, the, one of my favorite things to go and have, especially with friends or now that I have children, I can't wait. I have not taken them, but I'm really, really excited about that. Now, before I go on a ramble on how amazing <laughs> all the food in San Francisco is, let's get back to our grocery trip. Now, in this trip, I really wanted to get a couple of things for lunch. I tend to always forget about lunch and really focus either on breakfast or dinner. And I just wanted something quick, so I grabbed a couple of deli meats and some sliced prosciutto and other different types of sliced meats. I also got a couple of cheeses, as you saw earlier, and I am going to get some sliced bread later in the video. It's one of my favorites, and they're always sold out, and finally today I was able to grab some, so I'm really excited about that. I also got a couple of your quotes from my son. I grew up actually drinking these every morning in Mexico, but I did not know they were actually from Asia. I just thought it was a Mexican product. So it's really interesting how cultures kind of mix in together and we all just enjoy the awesomeness of these products. <laughs> Is awesomeness a word? I'm not sure, but it'll be for today. I'm also getting some sour cream, some crema mexicana. This time we're going to get cacique brand. And of course, we to the bin and we've got some Paw Patrol cream cheese. Just because of getting it. I tend to go from my uh, body harness or chest harness that I bought for my iPhone to film this. When you see me with two hands, it's because it's on my chest harness. But when you see me with one hand, it's because I am filming with one hand. And I'm holding my phone horizontally with one, and I am holding the items with the other. I try to go back and forth because sometimes just filming chest isn't really what I want, so I do transition back and forth, and I also do have a tripod, but I use that more for things when I was filming inside my home, which I ended up deciding not to do. I'm actually only going to be doing public ASMR with some live feed. I got a MacBook Air was on sale on Amazon and I actually got like over 500 gigabytes of storage one for like $1,200 as opposed to like $1,500. If the sale is still going on, I will leave the link for the MacBook Air. I got the rose gold because it was like $5 cheaper than the silver and why not save $5? <laughs> Anyways, that is going to just up my game when it comes to being able to record and store and edit and 
and I'll also be able to do lives now because I have a laptop and YouTube does not allow you to do go live unless you have over a thousand subscribers and recently I have what well, I checked this morning and I have 346 of you that have decided to commit and subscribe to Fox City ASMR and I'm so excited about that I love 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 seeing you guys in the comments and letting me know what you like or what you didn't like about the no talking versions or the soft spoken versions. I really enjoy making these videos. <laughs> you sound like a broken record I'm talking about how I love making these videos, but it's true. It's a, sometimes the only time that I have by myself with two kids. And I am very lucky that my boyfriend, partner, actually gives me the time to be able to do this sometimes. A lot of people don't take YouTube seriously. And they go, weird, I'm making millions of dollars. Why should you spend time working on that? But, you know, but sometimes it isn't about making millions of dollars. You know, great, if this YouTube channel ends up making money, I would love to be able to support my family and give back to my community. But if it doesn't, it's just an outlet for you to zone out for you to be able to go to sleep, for you to be able to work, or study, or whatever the reason why you're here. I'm so happy that I can help. I'm so happy that you'll have this here on the internet for you to look at whenever you need it. Now, one thing that I normally don't get are some of these paper towels because they are much heavier. Well, not heavier, but they are much bigger and they take up more space. I don't tend to walk with them because, again, I am walking with all my groceries home. And it is about a 20 minute walk, especially with groceries. It tends to be a longer walk. But today I ended up grabbing up essential items that we really did need because we had no more of. Like this method, all purpose cleaner. It's one of my favorites. Method is one of my favorite brands when it comes to cleaning my households. Oh, the Mayor, Mrs. Mayors, they're, they're good too. I like their, their um, Mrs. Mayors. Let's see, what do I like about them? Oh, I like their um, all-purpose cleaner as well. And I like their um, dish soap. I love their dish soap. And their hand wash. Their hand, their hand, their hand wash soap is really good. I ended up getting the purple. Uh, disinfectant and I also ended up getting a couple of items for donation this time around my daughter no longer likes these and I end up opening one and she takes a little bit of it and then she throws the rest away or she saves it for later and then she doesn't want it so I ended up just grabbing a couple for donation this time around I also got these beech nut um, snacks. These are for my daughter and they're actually all gone now because I take them to the playground every day. So they have one every other day, but I have two kids. So these go by pretty fast. Now, right now we're just checking out a few of the items in the children's section. It seems they have a couple of new items. Are no longer using pacifiers, so we're gonna pass on those. I decided to check the feminine aisle product. Feminine aisle product. Um, there is obviously a lot of people that need these products for their time of the month or for whatever you need pads for. Um, I was just checking these out just because it was a quiet aisle and I've never actually been in this aisle before for these videos at least but there was a lot of great sounds and I will be going back and stocking up on a couple of products again for donation. There was a lot of uh, discounted things, there's a lot of items that I thought were more expensive than they were and because I took a couple of minutes to go down that aisle. I figured out that I actually could afford a couple of these items for donation, so I'm excited about that.
I also got these crescent rolls. My son, one of the things that my son, my son is four, and he loves to cook at home. My boyfriend, his dad is a chef. He has a restaurant in Berkeley, California, and they do fine dining without the price tag, which is fantastic. And they actually are amazing, and they are in magazines and all that fun stuff. And they just finished Berkeley Week or Berkeley Restaurant Week, and they did phenomenal. But one of the things my son loves to do is get those crescent rolls and make pigs in a blanket for us for dinner. And we'll add other items, like sides, and you know, like, but it's really cute. And he does it all himself, except we help him with the oven. And what is that? These are cheddar and this that good. I personally would not use this again. I love the Quaker brand rather than this brand. At least for the cheddar like cardboard. There wasn't any really cheese flavor at all. Again, at least for that flavor profile. I also wanted to check out some of the candy section. Just because we, we do have sweet foods. And again, this safely has been turned upside down. So there's a lot of items that are next to items that I usually wouldn't look at. I tend to buy my candy at different stores. <laughs> Safeways, which it seems to be a little bit more expensive. But they do have a lot of great deals on their gummy section right here. They have a lot of good cream brands uh, mixed in with their Safeway brand. They have a couple of brands. So the signature select. And I, get, I did get some sour gummy worms and some Kinder. I grew up with Kinder Eggs in Mexico. I love those. Unfortunately, you can't really find the original Kinder Eggs here in the United States. Unless you're buying like a ten dollar Kinder Egg, they have a different style here. It's more like it, the the egg is separated into two parts, so you don't actually like ha get an egg. I don't know. It's it's different now. Anyways, we're gonna get a couple of things for baking. My son again, he loves to cook. He loves to bake. I grab a couple of things, and I haven't really gotten some of this instant pudding or already made pudding. So it was really interesting to see all the different. Uh, flavors and things they have now. I used to get these when I was younger. Uh, the Royal Flan, the easiest way to make a flan. I was thinking of getting this just for my son to bake with. Um, we also did a few uh, chicken strips at home. I like to I like to mix the panko breadcrumbs with the Italian seasoning breadcrumbs and mix them together, and it gives it a really good crunch. You should try it next time that you're making something with these breadcrumbs. Uh, the, the cookie aisle. I love the cookie aisle. There's so many wonderful cookies. I love I love sweet things, chocolate especially. I also like sour and spicy candy because they are Mexicana. But man, do I have a soft spot for cookies. I do not put any Chips Ahoy this time around. I actually like the soft Chips Ahoy. I really, really, really am obsessed with the Oreos in the lemon flavor. And if you get to try the carrot flavor Oreos, those are so good. Mint. I haven't tried mint. Alright, and we're going to get some salsa for our chilaquiles that I made. We got some green chile salsa over here. This is um, the easiest one. Um, my mom and I like to make it from scratch, but again, I, like I said, I'm being lazy today. So we're going to get some Las Palmas green salsa for our chilaquiles. And we're going to get some snacks. These wasabi flavored peas. I love wasabi flavored peas. I actually hated peas as a child. Peas, zucchini, and eggplant. I hated it. My uncle used to make me sit at his table for like three hours straight just to eat the zucchini. But now that I'm older, I'm just thinking like, you were just a bad cook because I love all those things now. And you know, who wants to eat cold, soggy zucchini? <laughs> no one wants to eat that. Unless you have to. You know, eat it if you have to. But as a child, this is one of my favorite aisles. It's the Asian food aisle. Which is really fun to me because it's such a tiny aisle compared to everything else. But there's such a huge influence of Asian like, flavors in this 
country and in this city but it has been gaining a lot more items especially during the pandemic given that a lot of people can't go to certain areas of the city i have definitely seen them add a lot more items in this aisle which makes me very excited like everybody else i have been on youtube learning how to do a lot of things and one of the things i have been learning to do is cook more or cook out of my comfort zone so i have really been loving a lot of asian cooking vlogs i will actually link my favorites down below they're very lo-fi well some of them are very lo-fi um one of my favorites which i'll link down below is is lo-fi and sometimes you'll get to hear some some great sounds but overall it's just very calming and relaxing and i've been learning a lot um, of cooking tips and techniques and things i really want to try and mix together with things i already know how to cook and you know things like that and one of the things i've been dying to do is tempura i'm trying to get my children to eat more vegetables and i know that tempura vegetables are very yummy so i am hoping to start that soon I'm going to get some of those products from an actual Asian market and I'm hoping to be going to uh, one of my favorite markets in Japantown. Japantown is a bit far from where I live, so because of the pandemic I have not been able to go because of a lot of the restrictions, staying in your own neighborhood, things like that. But I finally am going to be able to go back to Japantown and hopefully I can, you know, get a couple of things at some of the markets there. I know I want to do a video and I have actually a couple of things I want to get from Daiso, which is kind of like a 99 cent store, but it's mostly like $1.50 to about $5, but really good quality products. And I get a lot of the things from my kids, especially if they're just learning how to use something, or I get a lot of bowls there. They, I mean, they have everything. <laughs> but yeah, if you live in the States and you've never seen a Daiso, it's like a dollar store. They kind of have everything like a dollar store would. One of my favorite deals at Safeway is the pre-made soups. Right now, Progresso is buy two, get three free at my local Safeway. It's one of my favorite things to have in the pantry just for emergencies or in case one of my kids got sick. You know how it goes it's nice to have uh, things already pre-made in the pantry and this is such a great deal to take advantage of especially if you have coupons and you can use apps like i do i use fetch rewards i bought a um and a couple of others i will link them down below so you can check them out if you want to now i usually never look at this area or at least i didn't before i had kids but now that i have two it is an area that i usually go to every single time i go to safeway this is where they have the seasonal items, like right now they have a lot of Easter things. It's going to be Easter soon, uh, if you celebrate that or if you don't celebrate it, or if you just like the whole chocolate part of it. <laughs> this is kind of the seasonal area in every store, at least every Safeway, everyone has one. Another section that I really like at my local Safeway is again another discount section, which is the bakery discount section. Usually here, the best times to come through is in the mornings or right before they close because you can really find the excess fresh bread from the morning or the excess bread of the day that they want to get rid of. And so they're giving you a 50% discount. Sometimes they'll even find a 75% discount if they make too much. This is a great place to check after like 4th of July or like just a really big, you know, holiday. Now this is another 50% aisle section that they have. Right? Like I told you, told you at the beginning, they're trying to get rid of a lot of products because they're remodeling and they're bringing new products back in. So this is why you're seeing a lot of discounted sections today. Usually it's just one or two, but today we're seeing a lot of different ones. I think there's another area too that I feel like that's to the customer service section. I did grab a couple of these fajita and gravy packets. It's a really good thing to have 
either in your pantry or for donation. A lot of the times, um, seasonings are some things that we take for granted. It's not something that we tend to give away as much as we would cereal or canned goods. But if you have extra seasoning in your pantry that you can give away to your local community that needs it, you know, it's, it lifts the spirits. Seasoning lifts the spirits because it will turn anything into something delicious. I ended up buying this little thing for my shower. Um, we have an old shower, San Francisco old apartment. Um, and this is actually the only thing that fits the drain at the bottom of the floor. So I actually got a couple of those because they were 50% off and they're already only like two or three dollars. So a bigger discount. And I also got some of these skillet boxes. These are really, really good on a pinch in an emergency. You have a pound of, you know, your protein choice. You add it to it. Some milk, some butter. Done. Dinner is served with another side. Vegetables or however you want to eat it. If that's what you want to eat, that's fine too. There's a lot of snacks, gummy snacks. It's a great place to get all of the different treats and snacks for my kids throughout the week. Make a really great brand named 50% off deals that you can also add coupons to. Single time I shop, I always check all these apps. I use Fetch Rewards, Ibotta, um, and over Seapog, Receipt Pal, and obviously my rewards card, my, tar my Target rewards card. Um, been in apps like Ibotta and Rewards, they give you free items or discounts. Sometimes they'll give you like three or four of the same item for free just for you to try. And then, you know, maybe you'll buy you'll buy that again if they said really well. You'll end up buying the products that you tested for free because you like them. And I think it's a really cool thing. It's a cool way to advertise to the people that already buy similar products. And another thing I really like about the discount section is these little cookie mixes. I'm not sure if I grab one right now, but I love those because you don't have to make them for the season, right? Sometimes you can buy, it comes with a cookie mix, with the, with the cookie cutters, with everything you need, the icing. But you don't have to make them Christmas cookies. You don't have to make them Easter cookies. You can make them whatever you want. So I love getting those in the discount section because then we just have a set of cookie mix ready to go whenever we want to make our own cookies. And this bread, Alive and Rise, it's so good. It has been sold out for most of the pandemic at my local Safeway. At least when I go get it, there is none, absolutely none. I finally found some and I'm so excited about that. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that bread. It's so good. It's so fluffy. I'm not supposed to buy it. It's, it's so good. I have to try it. Have you tried it? If you have, let me know. Tell me what you think. Maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't like it. Let me know. Another thing I wanted to get for my kids in this trip is also some plates for Easter. Um, but these seemed a little flimsy and my daughter loves to throw her plate off the high chair so that would probably break right away. So I did not get any of those plates. I think I'll just get a set just to last us, you know, for as long as I can. I love these um, window things and stickers that you can add to the window. I have a couple seasonal ones too. I grabbed a little bit of mayonnaise because we ran out. I have roommates and kids and there's a lot of people here. So, but this is really interesting how one size is the same, but one is bigger than the other, but it's the same ingredients. So interesting. Now, if you have a local Safeway or any affiliated uh, grocery store to Safeway, or I believe Albertsons, is it Albertsons? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but is if they have this uh, Monopoly game going on, so certain items give you little Monopoly tickets that you will then open, and they'll either give you free items, points towards free items, or gift cards, or it'll just give you a coupon for something. It's off, but again, sometimes they do give you free items, and I 
I believe also if you play like the big board game, probably, at Safeway that you can also win thousands of dollars or cars or you know, I, everybody's seen this type of uh, advertisement at their grocery stores I assume, at least in the states I know I grew up seeing it constantly. Maybe not just Monopoly at Safeway, but also McDonald's. Do you guys remember? Did you see the documentary on HBO about the uh, McDonald's scam when it came to the Monopoly game? And, you know, that was crazy. I, I suggest you guys watch that documentary. But again, another 50% aisle section or a little area. This, I believe, is the last one. This is um, kind of closer to where you know, check out and where customer service is located. But this is literally customer service. So this is another area. I believe they distributed the discount section all across the store so that it wouldn't just be contained in one area. And some of the same products are in every single one. And sometimes you'll just find like a regular one item that that's all they have left. which I love during the holidays. I love the apple cider during the holidays, especially now that I have a four-year-old who likes to feel fancy and have a little glass of apple cider. I feel like we're seeing the same products over and over again. And again, I think this is because we're trying to get a little bit. A lot of individual items, but small individual items is what I mean. Ooh, Starbucks. You find a lot of cake cups in the 50% aisle, and this right here, this fat separator, or um, I should have gotten that because I actually make butter. And I mix uh, different herbs in it, and that would have been perfect because after I strain it in a cheesecloth, I can add it to this little container and then just pour it into the, the silicone thing I got, um, which is, has come really handy to just be able to pour melted butter in, and it just have a shape, not have to worry about it. section. There's a lot of great deals in here. Look at this 50% off. Look at that 12 pack. These little bunny. Oh, this brand is so expensive. It's so good. 50% off. So this is such a great area. You always check. Always check your local grocery store. Ask around and say, hey, do you have a 50% off section or a discount section? Or if not, you should get one. You know, you should put all the fruits and vegetables that are going bad here at a little price. to have a little box where things that were going to go bad would go there and then that way and this was just like a little tiny little corner store at some corner in San Francisco doing this so I think you know a store with so much money can probably afford to just have a section devoted to that really quick have you tried these and do you like them what about the snowballs? The purple ones. I've seen, I think I've seen different colors. I like the brand Hostess for munchies, especially their little chocolate uh, with the, uh, what was it, with the little a white straw on the top? I forgot what they're called. <laughs> but I love those. It's just the little munchie section. Yeah, these, these are the ones I like. Oh, they're the best. They're the best. Alright, so I have to get some more coffee. And today we are just going to randomly pick one. Just because they are all $4.99. And we're going to get the French rolls today. 
And we usually get just the regular whatever is on sale. Uh, we're not picky. Well, we are picky, but you know, we sometimes just deal with getting the cheaper coffee every once in a while. Um, and this section is the wine section. This is, well, the canned wine section. And I just really wanted to check out the cans. Well, I came here just to check out the cans and see what kind of sounds we could, we could find. But I actually stayed for uh, a can. I actually got and took one home just because it was on sale and I don't usually make these types of purchases. And so I wanted to come and explore and try something new, right? Try something new every once in a while. That's a good thing. And I really liked the unicorn. This was for a canned rosé. It was a good rosé. So I would definitely purchase this in one of those moments of like, you know, like, oh, let's go to the beach and have some wine and you don't want to deal with glasses and things like that. I would recommend this as just like a nice treat. Just make sure it's really cold. And the flower section, oh, one of my favorite areas. I've been trying to buy more flowers, but I'm also trying to have a little back uh, city garden here. We have a little uh, back porch and we were actually able to grow an avocado during the pandemic and uh, we have little sprouts in the back too. We just don't get a lot of sun. So we have to figure out that whole, you know, plants needing the sun to survive. <laughs> But I would really like to grow some wildflowers if I could. I don't know, San Francisco's weather changes so much. Well, everybody's weather changes, but definitely right now, currently, today is a really hot day. And just a couple of days ago, it was raining, and we had the heater going on high, and it's crazy. Oh, the maple bread and bacon, oh, that's one of my favorites. Actually, you can get a little more. It, although I am going to take it, but I just, I'm obsessed with the salad right now. Some bananas for the kids. Because they love bananas. Oh, look, I found some other yakisoba in the vegan section. Look at that plant. Zero brand, I believe. Oh, I love this brand for their tofu and also, not their tofu, um, yeah, their wraps there. So many different purposes too and they have they tell you how to fold them back sometimes they'll give you like the egg roll one has an egg roll recipe on the back and it tells you everything you need for the recipe and how to cook it and everything so i have done that with my son we've done egg rolls at home just with that recipe on the back and unfortunately, I was coming over here to grab my usual mushrooms in the little bag, but they are unfortunately not going to be carrying them on my local Safeway. I think because all of these other mushrooms don't usually get taken home. <laughs> they all seem very moldy and just, ugh, they don't look very good. So the other ones tend to last longer too. So I'm surprised they're not getting rid of those five dollar five dollar packs and keeping the the other ones. I am gonna get an onion, a white onion, because I'm gonna use it for some some tacos that we're gonna make. I'm gonna get some green beans. Lucky that they have these awesome green bean bags where I can just grab them and save them. Look at that. Perfect. Just gotta grab some cucumbers. And it's one of those beautiful T 
be theirs for kids just, you know, under parental supervision of course because it is a hot cucumber but my daughter loves munching on it especially when I can we're gonna get some blackberries now I'm gonna have to make a mental note no hold on not hold on because I'm recording I'm just gonna oh my goodness okay the allergies are fine I'm going to make a note on my phone about these tomatoes because I bought this tomato for slicing throughout the week for sandwiches and other things but I've been craving a capri salad for a really long time and I never, never make it for myself I never go and get the items so I am making a note next trip next time we go shopping I'm gonna make a capri salad and we're gonna get all the ingredients that I don't have at home already for that. Okay? Alright. We're gonna get that. And I think I am done for today. I'm gonna have to go pay now. Let's see if I can actually carry all these groceries back home. I might have to take a lift or I might actually have to get on the bus today. Because <laughs> there is a lot of heavy items like that milk in there. Alright, well thanks so much for coming along with me getting my grocery shopping for the for the next couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully you can come along next time. And if you like this video, please don't forget to go ahead and like the video. <laughs> that tells me and YouTube that you enjoy my videos and videos like this and it will recommend videos like this to you from other creators.